Hi guys, I'm Chris G here and it's Sunday and Sunday morning. So guys, we just decided to make um so this is one favorite um some caramel porridge with some fried fritters and either some hard bread or with some plantain, okay? So my water is boiling there right now, guys. I saved my cornmeal ready and I'm adding in some cinnamon stick and a couple of cinnamon um, bay leaves. Since I have the cinnamon stick, uh, the bay leaf will do. So right now, this is my cornmeal sieve already and it's about two cups. Um, it's not a lot of us. So this is a fine cornmeal. Um, so I sieve it already. And what I do, folks, I always um smoke soak my cornmeal not soak put it because guys if you put it in water like this mix it out when you're ready to do it when you put it in the pot no lumps okay so this is what i'm doing right now i just had some water to it this is some filter water so this water is gonna go to cook it okay so right now guys i'm gonna let the cinnamon stick and um the bay leaf cook for um you know get out their juices so this is the the cornmeal there in the water so in the meantime i'm just gonna put this aside and so right now i'll show you i'm making um, some codfish um fritters and you know what west jamaican style when we do our codfish we love a lot of stuff especially um vegetable you know, like um our tomatoes onion some garlic thyme i'm using some green onion and some par fresh parsley mm -hmm. and guys um let me just turn this over over a bit from the stove that is boiling right now so i can show you so guys this is my codfish here and this is a codfish you can tell it's very wide and pretty not saltfish codfish and this I soak overnight, guys. Um, and um, in some lime water. So when I tasted it a few minutes ago, it wasn't very salty. So I just pour a little hot water over it and just rinse it off. So that's my codfish there. And um, I'll be using in there some green onions, some on white onions, some I mix her. Um, 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 fresh um, parsley and a little bit of cilantro lots of tomato we love lots of tomato in our stuff and some fresh chopped um, garlic the time here guys I'm just gonna pick the leaf off because you don't want to put it with the stick inside you know when you bite you bite it on a stick and these are the my herbs I'm gonna be using in it a little bit of um, um, basil a little bit of oregano some rosemary a little bit of that little of um, uh onion powder and some of my own spy um spices here um you know uh, um some cayenne pepper a little bit of curry powder we're gonna do this one curry and a little bit of chili powder um so this is our um spices you're gonna add to it okay so right now while that is going i'm gonna start mix this um i like to sieve my flour so no, I'm gonna add my all the stuff in first. So this is my green onions here, folks. And this is the onion. And in our, you know, when we do our fritters, we don't um blend it out. Um everything is gonna be, you know, you're gonna taste it when you heat it. It's gonna be there. That's the cilantro and parsley. This is the tomato here. So, you know, I know some some islands they blend everything out and make it um now we want to taste all that nice um salt fish and stuff this is my garlic here guys we put garlic in in ours you can omit it you don't have to put it if you don't want to but it gives it a nice flavor so those are all there so right now i'm just gonna try and just get off some part of the time is very soft so the part that is very soft i'm just gonna see i'm um it's not sticky it's just very soft that part i'll just cut inside it okay Those parts that are very soft. Because time is a must. You have to have time in here. So these part now. And the stick you could use in your soup or some stews or so it, it won't go to waste. Okay. The 
cinnamon is just boiling up with the bay leaf. So you see the stick leaf there. That's it. So you get all the flavor because that's where most of the flavor is in the leaves, guys. So it's been a beautiful day for October here, guys. It's hot. It was out today. It's hot. And I say hot is hot and nice. No cold weather. Beautiful. I really don't care whether it's global warming or not. It's nice. I'm going to put a few pieces of uh, So this is all the time here. And if you have dry time, guys, you can also use that, you know. But this one is awesome. You just get off all the leaves. I'm going to do the, um, I'm just putting this together and let it rest. Then I'll do the porridge. Um, yeah, that's one in, in back home. That could be a nice Sunday morning breakfast. We used to have cornmeal porridge and fried dumpling and fried fritters and all of that. Planting. That would be a nice breakfast. So we, we just decide today, why don't we do that? The time is so smells so nice because this is fresh time, so it smells awesome. So you're putting, you can never go wrong with uh, your time in it. And you know one of the most important thing, guys, is a scotch bonnet pepper. That's a must. That coming up next. I think that's it and this guys well I just use this and um, stew or my soup because it still have a lot of flavor so nothing goes to waste and everything is so expensive right now guys and it's not just in Canada all around the world but I was talking to a friend of mine in Jamaica and I think we feel a, little, a lot better than, you know, them, some of the things that are out there. So expensive. Okay, so this is all the herbs and spices here I'm just adding in. And this one we're going to add a little curry flavor to it. So I just, I just add a little bit of curry. I'm gonna mix up this with the salt fish, everything here together. I don't want any stick part of the time down there. So this is the salt fish and um, all the natural herbs. As and I also add um, a little bit of lemon pepper. So I'm gonna get my Scotch bonnet pepper right now. I'm gonna use the green and on red because and I'm still gonna put a little bit of um my jerk seasoning in it. I buy my peppers and I've washed them and freeze them folks so um, you keep them down in the fridge and then they get they start go bad so freeze them and they come out just as good. I don't know if so I'm cutting up one whole um Got a lot of pepper right now. The cinnamon smells so nice, guys. I'm putting in seed and all, guys. Got one thing with um salt fish fritters, cartridge fritters. You have to have heat in it. Well, for people who can't cook the heat, then you have to if you're cooking. If for some folks who can't take the pepper, well, you just. I'm gonna put a little bit of green in it also. And this is for flavor. The red mostly eat and this is um for flavor. So add that on top to it. I think that's enough right there. 
else you out of this um, for the jerk seasoning. And guys, this is uh, my vegetable cube. I always put vegetable cube in it. It gives it, give it, just keep it up a notch. So this is a saltfish here all done up. Some people put eggs in their um, fritters, guys. We don't. I don't. You don't need um because we'll fire crispy. My friend was just saying to me, is it egg? No, I don't put any eggs. We, if you want, you could put eggs, but I never do, and they come out just as outside crispy and nice, and inside um well cooked. I'm gonna do the flour right now. Let me see. The cinnamon is almost cooked. So I'm just gonna mix this and let it. Um, it's good to just mix your batter and just let it sit for a little bit, you know. Just, so let me just mix the flour in right now. I like to take some time. Not everything I save, but I like to save my flour for um, and my fritters and my dumpling. The reason I have it in the bag, I keep the flour in the fridge, so it stays nice and fresh. See guys, I have to add a little more flour. And guys, if you're doing it and you find that you don't want to do all of it, just put it in a container and just stick it in the freezer. And you can use the rest when you want. I'm gonna add a little bit more water. See now, guys. This should do it. And you always test your um, fritters before you put the big one in. Just put a little bit in and test it to see if it has been. Because if it doesn't have been enough flour, then it's gonna stick to the pot. Okay, I'm gonna start adding. Water. Let's go ahead on the chick side. We have a little bit more water too. And folks, so far I haven't had any salt to it because um, I had some of my seasoning, my dry, dry seasoning to it. And the salt fish. You don't want to get your salt fish all fresh. You have to leave some salt in it. Otherwise, guys, it's not going to be, not going to taste too good. Let's see. I see. It could it could take a little while. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna add some of my um, instead of salt, just give it more flavor instead of salt. So 
just gonna just mix that all up and I think this is a good consistency right here guys see the the, the curry I put in it give it that color and it's also going to give it a nice flavor so this is our saltfish fritters right here guys see that yeah so that we're just going to let that rest here for a bit going to deal with our um, cornmeal porridge right now So guys, as you can see, see the cinnamon, the color that the cinnamon give it? Awesome. So I'm just going to remove those the cinnamon from the pot. Just a piece of cinnamon, guys, and look at that, you know, and I bet you this still have a lot of flavors still in it. I'm just gonna remove this because these done their work right now so throw a little bit more water this so now guys I'm gonna lower the stove a bit and gonna add the cornmeal I see that guys this way you don't have the big lumps and thing like that in it. I'm wash this out. So right now you have to stay close to it guys right, and keep stirring it. Keep stirring. So. so guys, I'm gonna cover it down. Okay, and cornmeal. It takes a little time to cook, so I'm gonna let that do its thing, and then I'll be right back. Okay. Yes, guys, the porridge is cooking for a good 15 minutes now, and I'm gonna add some coconut milk to it. And at this point, I'll just um lower the stove. Still cooking, add a coconut milk. Oops. I think I pour some water in that pot over there, guys. And that's to fry the fritters. So. I don't want to start cutting up on the right now, so I'll turn it off. Put a little bit more coconut milk. And guys, just the coconut milk we're gonna add to it. Um, I never add um, it's not a good thing to um, to sweet your 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 part, the old part of porridge, because guys, what happened is that it can it can get very watery. I have to cover that pot, guys. That thing is flattening up. Wow. So guys, now I'm gonna get some fresh nutmeg, my vanilla and some almond a little bit of mix oh that pot would just stop i'm gonna give it some of my fresh with some fresh nutmeg in it right now it's still cooking but i just lowered the heat and you see guys 
no lamb. That's it. If you want to get a very nice cornmeal porridge, mix it up in the water and add it to the pot. No lamb. So I'm going to add some fresh um, I like to use fresh um, nutmeg. I always have, have quite a bit that I get from back home. And I prefer to use um, fresh nutmeg. I think I use about a teaspoon. You have to be careful with nutmeg. Um, it could make your stuff taste better if you use too much. Um, I'm gonna add some pure vanilla to it. And this is real, real, real vanilla, guys. So you can use whatever you have. And this is my almond extract. And this is one of one I made also. It's very easy to make, guys. Almond extract. And I'm gonna add too much. And I don't use rose water because I can't take the taste of rose water. Rose water is a nice thing, but I don't use it in most of my stuff. To eat your own. If you get the real rose water, then that's good. You know? That's the vanilla they're giving it that color right now. So guys, at this point... And I'm going to put some condensed milk, but I'm going to put it in the bowl. I'm not going to put it in the... Because normally, when I sweeten, a couple of times I sweeten the porridge with the milk, the whole pot. And um, guys, after you go back, it became water. So my advice is just take out the amount you, you and everybody going to use. And then you add your milk to it, okay? But, uh, so that's why and I'm not going to add any sugar. Just um, condensed milk and coconut milk. Yeah, so... Like when it's ready to be um, plated out, you get it and you add your condensed milk to your porridge. And guys, that way your porridge will stay very thick. But if you put it in there right now and leave it, it's going to get thin very soon. Okay. So I'm going to switch and put it on the back stove right now because this is pretty much done right now, guys. So I'm going to do... And lower this the heat on it just to kind of be still uh, on a very low heat you know so still gonna be bubbling but the most important part that you make sure your cornmeal is cooked okay so i oh i make a mess in the guy so i leave it there i give it about 20 minutes and a slow cook and i take your time and cook it depends on what cornmeal you're using oh this is a fine cornmeal Fine organic cornmeal. So the, the oil has been heated right now. And we're not going to use any bread, guys. We're just going to plant, fry green planting and squeeze it. You know, this is very nice green planting. And you know, I'll see what I'm going to do it last because planting gets cold very easily. So we're going to use some green planting instead of. Um, bread. Nobody they, they didn't want to go to bed with that. I, I haven't eaten bread in a while now, guys. It's just my plant and my green banana and stuff. From the last time I do a video on, you know, baked bread. That was several months ago. That is the carp that get you folks. That's why when I do my rice now, I boil it and I put it in the fridge and let it become um, resistance. That means the starch is gone and at that point we call it um, resource starch. So that been heated, I put a few pieces of garlic in it right now. And let's, let's just see how the porridge is doing. Yes, guys, it's just bubbling and it's thick and nice because you know what? Once you add your condensed milk to it, it's going to thin up a bit. So this way your porridge, look at that. That's the way you want. That's the consistency and no lumps. Okay, so it's just on a very low heat. 
um, and even the heat of the stove because these stove the heat is so um, intense even after you turn them off so I'm just letting my pot heat it up I have to get my to drain on this. So I'll just give it a next quick mix. Mix everything. And I'm just gonna try a little piece just to see if the consistency is thick enough. If not then I'll just add a little bit more flour. Here and I hope the pear is right. <laughs> I got those today. I think I'm about two this four. garlic I'm just letting it flavor the oil I think it's odd enough folks I'm gonna try a little one just a little to see what's up with it if it's okay always test it and you will know if it move around yeah oh yeah that's a good consistency, so I'm going to start putting them in right now. And I'm not going to make them too, too small. I love it with a chunk of salt codfish in it. I know some other island, what they do, they put it in the blender. And they blend it all out, everything smooth. You know, so. What is it to heat is on. Different strokes. We do the same thing in the um, but you know some islands just do things on a different level. Yeah. I think um in Barbados they call it fish cake, or uh, in, in Trinidad it's like that. I think it's called fish cake. And we call you know we it's our saltfish fritters. Wanna get the wanna overcrowd it so. Let's leave those three right now. So guys, I'm going to start frying those out and then come back. Guys, 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 one of the things I forgot to tell you. I am going to put a tin of cream of corn in the porridge. Guys, it is so nice. You can, you, this is cream of corn in the porridge, guys. So it's still on uh, my, I just switch so I can show it to you, okay? And you could put corn also if you want, but guys, try it this way. It's awesome. So this is a cream of corn, a tin of cream of corn I just put in. Okay? Just thought I'd show you that. And I'm just going to switch it back to the switch. That goes back and the fruit just come from and just load it eat. So the, the corn will just, you know, stay there and just simmer it a big sickly the corn is cooked already. So it's just gonna it's on a nice low heat. So guys, you gotta try your corn in parts that way. Cream of corn in it. And see the fruit are coming, the little baby one here. Coming on nicely. See the, 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 the um, curry I put in it, folks, give it a little color and also flavor. 
So you just keep flipping them over and keep them on a not too medium heat. Keep them on a good heat. Yeah, otherwise you and this is a little baby one guys and look. Crispy. Ah. Mmm, guys. Mmm. Wow. Just the right amount of salt and pepper. Mmm. So you don't need to put any eggs. I know some people do, but you don't need any eggs in it. Crispy and nice. Mm. And all the flavors from um, all the herbs. Mm. Wow. Mm. And the cartridge is just right. Right them on the side. Wow. And those are ready to be taken out, guys. Pan here um, that you just you just drain in. Crispy on the outside, moist and nice on the inside. Beautiful. This one can. I, did, I put that one in um, a few minutes ago. So I'm gonna add a few more right now. Back when I was growing up at school at lunchtime, a lady used to come and sell saltfish fritters and banana fritters. Oh my goodness, um, she lived close by and you know her tambourine ball and all of that and her fritters was so nice. Well, she wasn't a crab lady, you know. <laughs> She's selling the school so she could use, um, you know, have um, hygienic stuff right there. Very nice lady when I was growing up. Mm. This one is done. Add another one over there now, and guys, I'm just gonna let that do its thing, and I shall return. I'm gonna peel the planting in the meantime, okay? Yes, guys, I'm down to the last three right now. I have my plant in here, those three are almost done. Green planting guys is so nice, you know, you the way you fry it up and um, squeeze it. It is I, I I you know I love planting but I love green planting more than the ripe one. These are almost done guys. They're in a draining container right here, so all the oil, all the excess oil in them, they'll just drain right out. So guys, okay, while that is finishing up, here I have my planting right here. I fry a couple of, um, we're frying about two because some folks want to have, um, our dough bread so we just right okay so this is guys your market planting in case the people don't know and why i'm trying to preserve the skin because i'm gonna squeeze it in the skin 
I'm gonna lower the heat right now. I wanna make try to hold the skin together, get it off together. If not, then you have a paper bag, you could also use a paper bag. Perfect, that's what I want it. So all you do is just clean off any little imp you know of your planting. And this green plant you could use make your same chips at home, which probably is much better. No preservative. I do it all the time. I make chips all the time. Oh, guys, this one is done. Okay. So right now, guys, we're gonna do it like this. I'm gonna cut them like this on an angle. And I'm just gonna let them not exactly fry fry, just brown on each side. Then I will squeeze them. So we have the plant and plus um, some folks are just gonna have ardo. Because you know ardo bread is very nice with um with fr sawfish fritters too, guys. Fried dumpling too is is always a uh, match with fried dumpling and um sawfish fritters. The combo thing, or you could just eat your fritters just like that. This, you know, but this is Sunday morning. This, this is one of Jamaican Sunday morning breakfast. Fry fritters come in part, or whether you want to have your fried dumpling with it, or with your hard or bread. So, this is another apple. And folks, this is not just for. So if you feel like having this for supper, you make your cornmeal part and have it for supper also, for lunch or anything, um, anything goes these days guys. This is not limited to breakfast anymore, but this is what we're doing for our Sunday morning breakfast. So that's, those are just going to brown a bit. And then I'll squeeze them in this. And if you if your plant and skin doesn't come out okay, as I said, folks, you can also um, use a clean paper bag. Like this. Oh, oops. You just want them to be, you know, brown on each side, not not fry fry right out because you're gonna. They're going to return to the pot to continue. So I lower the heat a bit. And guys, the porridge. Ooh, 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 oops, sorry. The porridge with that cream of corn, guys. Uh, you should try it, folks. A nice tin of cream of corn in your porridge. In the cornmeal porridge. Awesome. Let them fry a bit more. Then I start to squeeze them. Because if you don't let them fry a bit and squeeze them, they will fall apart. You know, they will break up on you. And you put it in your, you'd put it in your, um, in your plant skin, and then you squeeze on it. Then you squeeze. And if you find it resisting a lot, then mean it needs to fry a little bit more. Oh, that's my ginger tea in the back there folks boiling over wow i'll clean that up afterwards so that's the first piece i put in guys um i want to make sure they fry a bit because uh, that first piece there was a little bit hard to squeeze so i think they want to fry some more it's squeezed, but it's um, 
was resisting a lot was resisting let me try this piece and see and you got to make sure you don't burn your hand so make sure that it covers it all the way so this is what you want to get it like yeah the squeeze okay that's it you lower your heat and you just squeeze on it yes that's it put it back in Oh, that one. I think I too much ever strength on that one. It's still good. Last piece. Wow. Let's brush it off. It's clean in here. And so we're going to kill your fat in here. <laughs> There we go. And we're finished with the skin now. So you can just discard that. And that's how you do your green planting. You know, one piece didn't spare too. I squeeze on it too hard, but that's good. That's okay. So folks, I'm going to finish frying these and then when I come back, I'll just put everything together, okay? Alright, right bye, bye. Yes, guys, I'm back, back. And the planting is done. And we're just going to play the right now, okay? So, for the porridge, oh, my stove is in a mess right now, guys. later do that so here we go folks and this is cornmeal porridge with cream of corn and guys this is it right here I should have used the ladle thick and nice it's little pieces of corn in it And coconut milk. It's done with coconut milk also. So guys, this is a good break. This could be for supper, like I said, right here too, guys. Yeah. Carmine part is very good for you. It cleans, especially back when people have, after women have babies, they used to get carmine part a lot to strengthen them. Um, And when the babies reach a certain age, they will start getting their caramel parts. So guys, right now, I'm just going to add what amount of milk I'm going to add to it. Like I said, I'm not adding any sugar to my mind, just some milk. And it's best to sweeten it this way, folks. Um, because if you sweeten that old pot, and it just sit there and it became watery. So always put it in your bowl and sweeten it. Then... If you want to add sugar at this point also, you can add your sugar, but I don't want any sugar. That's a corn because we're having coconut milk in it already and uh, condensed milk right now, okay? So that's how I like my porridge. And I don't think anybody going to have sugar in theirs either, so. That's the cornmeal porridge right there, folks. And you're going to have a couple nice fritters. Why not? There, and your ripe planting. The pear didn't ripe, guys, so I um, can't, yeah. And that's it right there, guys. That's your cornmeal porridge and your fried fritters and fried planting. There you go, guys. So, guys, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And have yourself a wonderful evening. Everybody bless up, big up yourself, everyone. Um, so this is, have yourself a wonderful day. 
So this is breakfast here, Jamaican style, and another Jamaican breakfast, very popular Jamaican breakfast, which is fried plantain, fried fritters, and cornmeal porridge with coconut milk and um, cream of corn um, in it. And guys, um, it is awesome. This is a very nutritious breakfast right here. It doesn't get no better than that. Anyway, guys, have yourself a really beautiful day. All right, peace.